So what type of problems did you see in Christianity and in the Bible that ultimately led you to Islam? I'll try and speak now in terms of what scholarship says, what historians have discovered. It seems to me that Jesus didn't preach Christianity. He didn't come to found a church. For example, none of the Gospels, apart from one, speak of Jesus talking about a church at all. The earliest Gospels don't have Jesus speaking of church at all. And he doesn't preach Christianity. What he preaches is God, he preaches Tawheed, and he's against hypocrisy, he preaches Nia, sincerity, uh, and the love of God and love of neighbor, and so on. So it's kind of like a renewal movement, it's a spiritual renewal movement within Judaism. So Jesus' faith, if you like, we would call that Judaism, or the faith of the Israelites. He didn't preach the Incarnation, he didn't preach the Trinity, he didn't preach the Atonement, according to the vast majority of historians. The problem for Christianity is the idea that God became a man in Jesus. This is a late idea, it's not there in Jesus' ministry, it's only found actually in the Gospel of John. This is the last Gospel to be written. In the earlier Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke, Mark's the earliest, there's no incarnation at all, and that's the least historical Gospel of all, and that's the Gospel of John. Only in one place in the Gospels does Jesus walk around saying, I am the light of the world, or before Abraham was, I am, or I am the resurrection of the life, or I am the light of the world. All these I am statements are only found in one Gospel, the last Gospel of John. If you look at the early Gospels, Jesus never speaks like this. He speaks about God. He speaks about um, repentance. God is someone other than Jesus. He's not the message. God is the message. He's the messenger. He's the prophet, for sure. But he is not God. In John, it gets a bit more difficult, uh, more complicated. Jesus comes across as a somewhat divine figure. In the beginning was the Word, the Gospel begins, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, etc. Now, all of this is very late, and if Jesus actually went around saying these amazing things that John claims he did, why did no one else report that? So we have an earlier Gospel, the Gospel of Luke, for example. In the entire Gospel of Luke, Jesus never speaks like that. He never speaks about himself so much. It's about God. He just doesn't call himself God. He's just a prophet. And he never says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So uh, the bad news is the Gospel of John is used by Christians more than any other Gospel to preach. For example, the American evangelist, who I saw in London some years ago, he said, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And, you know, his scholars will say, no, he probably didn't say that, so that's not historical. And this is the scandal. Christians generally don't know about what their own scholars are saying about this. That's worrying, because how can you trust them now if they contain made-up stories? There are made-up stories in the Gospels, so uh, this can shake your faith. And if Jesus didn't preach the Trinity, if he didn't believe he was the incarnate Son of God, I would have found that threatening as a Christian, but that wasn't the problem. The problem was, you know, the early historical Jesus, for example, or the reliability of the Gospels. And, and that's not based on skepticism, that's based on, well, what's the evidence? And the evidence often is not there for their reliability, and that was a problem.